Uh, we're back on the Perkins block. I, I wasn't going to do this video because um, I think we've done enough um, on this Perkins block and people are probably here getting a bit bored with it now. Um, so I was going to do this without this little job here. I'm, I'm doing the ring gaps and I'm, well, I was going to do this job without recording it mainly because whenever I've um, mentioned ring gapping on various groups over the years I've uh, been ridiculed for it um, with people who should know better stating that you don't need to do it on a tractor block it only revs to 2000 or 1500 or whatever that particular tractor revs to um, and we're not building a high performance engine so we don't need to do it. So anyway, when I installed this ring, this is a scraper ring, an oil scraper ring. When I installed it, I discovered that it didn't have a gap at all, which is quite unusual um, when you've got the balls to the correct size. Um, the gaps are generally, I mean, they are generally okay. Um, well, in, in a lot of cases, they can be a little bit oversized, which you can't do anything about, so you just have to go with it. But in this case, there's no gap. I can't even get a, a tooth out feeder gauge in it. And uh, the book is asking for... Um, between 30 and 76 point 30 to point 76 millimeters which is 12 to 36 thou so not being able to get two thou in and the minimum is 12 I think we have to do something about it so how, how do we do it we use files if you're doing it by hand, you use files. I don't have a ring gap or machine. You can get them. They're relatively inexpensive, but I just don't have one. So I tend to use diamond files. Um, this particular one being my favourite. So we take the, the ring back out the bore. And we simply... it until we've removed the required amount and 30,000 going to take a while And when we filed it a bit, we put it back in and we measure the gap. And we've still got absolutely nothing. Um, I can't even see anything there. I can't even see any light through it. So we've got a bit of a job on here. Let's just take that out and try another ring and see what they're like. So, there's another ring. Just using the piston to square the ring up in the ball so we can measure it accurately. And on this one, we want a minimum of 30 thou. And we don't have it. Let's try a 10 thou. Yeah, we can get a 10 in. We can get a 15 in. We can get a 25 in. 
Let's try the 30 again. Make sure I don't have two stuck together. No, no 30 will not go in, so we need to work on that. So anyway, I'll do a bit of work and come back to you. So I've worked on that oil ring for a little bit. It actually didn't take very long. Um, I changed files for this rather inexpensive file. You can get these quite easily on eBay. Um, little diamond file set. And this is just happens to be a flat one. Anyway, I've um, increased the gap now to, let's have a look. You probably won't be able to read it. I don't know. It's upside down. Yeah, it's upside down, but that's uh, 0 0.5. It's half a millimetre. Um, we had 0 0.3 to 0 0.76. So I've aimed for somewhere in the middle. And let me try and get around the other side so you can see what I'm doing. So the ring's in the bore. It's been squared up. by using the piston skirt to make sure it's 90 degrees in the bore and we can get a, a 50 millimeter feeler gauge in there um so we're done with that one and uh, that's the biggest ring so that'll take the longest the others will be much quicker anyway i won't show you me doing those but that's generally the idea if we left the ring in there with no gap or an undersized gap when uh, the engine warmed up and especially when the rings warmed up and expanded the two ends would butt each other and the ring could possibly break they would certainly be very tight in the ball and could cause ball damage it would probably score it and scratch it and of course if the piston ring broke then it would cause some um, catastrophic damage to the ball and possibly other items as well depends how far the damage goes um so please um do your ring gaps it's important um there's no point going to all this work and all this expense just to miss that little point at the end anyway i shall leave it at that and uh thank you for watching <laughs>